And Polly, oh wait. My name is Clinton Bennett. I'm a producer here at Poly TV. I've been working here for about four to five months. So January 10th, uh, we had a scheduled shoot. Um, everything was going well. We told Polly we were gonna have some interactive tools to use. And uh, we told Polly, uh, want you to fight a virtual boxer, not a real one. Oh, he, he started immediately, very quickly. Um, didn't hesitate whatsoever, boxed incredibly. Um, and even when he had a break, he, uh, he didn't want to take that break. He kept the headset on. Yeah, we lost, we lost the footage that we wanted to broadcast to you. But the footage we have is strictly a poly, and I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah, 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 take, take it off and give us your thoughts. Clint. Okay, I'm good, give me. I'm going. You going? <laughs> All right, let's get it. <sighs> oh, that footage, man. That footage, that footage is uh, Dana White for surely has it, guaranteed without a doubt, for surely, for surely, for surely. Release the footage, Dana. Release the footage. So you just went into it and kind of, we, we were going to do an intro, but you kind of just immediately, Mark, once you put it on. You marked me up a little bit, that bastard, you see him? <laughs> you managed, managed? You didn't know it was this realistic, huh? You didn't realize. Was this realistic? You well, you, it's you, a workout, I mean, you gotta... I'll tell you what, it's a workout though. I don't think it's going to get you too used to this real simulation of it, because I feel like my jabs didn't get the respect they typically get from me for me in my fights. Usually, if I'm jabbing consistently, if I'm jabbing, I can usually keep a guy at bay just with the jab alone and then picking my spots. He's at least got to uh, react to my jab a little bit, respect it a little bit. I felt like I was letting him the jab, but he was coming forward anyway. Uh, and then I would faint off the jab. A lot of times in my boxing career, my jab was a big weapon, but then I would faint off the jab. Once I saw my jab was effective, once I saw my jab was effective, the faints instead of the jab, or the faint jab, or just mixing faints instead of jabbing, would freeze the guy, or it would stop him from coming forward. This guy bit on none of my faints. I was fainting and he was just coming forward. So faints are absolutely useless in this video game, which if you use it for training, it's gonna make you put you into that bad habit of not using your faints, because this thing didn't react to any faints for some reason. And faints were a big part of my arsenal. Um, but nonetheless, some of it is realistic, obviously, what is real? It gets you, it gets you working. It forced me to probably throw more combinations than I was throwing in my career. At least I don't have the threat of hurting my hands, so I can throw more punches in this, right? So I don't know. It was fun, but I wouldn't exactly call it a, an exact simulation. But nonetheless, for a video game, it's not bad. I tell you, little Mac became old Mac, <laughs> but Mac is back. Uh, Paulie, after some heavy consideration, really doesn't want to mess up uh, the money maker in his uh, his new profession, his new jobs. So uh, he decided to put the virtual reality behind him and move on to more reality-based jobs. Release the footage, Dana. Release the footage. <laughs> 